the British Admiralty is frantically planning an evacuation across the channel. They choose the northernmost town in France, Dunkirk. It's an industrial port, flanked by wide sandy beaches, with long moles that jut out into the sea. French news crews record a steady stream of Allied soldiers retreating to Dunkirk by any means possible. Train, horse, motorcycle. Expecting the Germans to easily block the evacuation and with few ships in the vicinity, the British secretly fear they'll rescue just 40,000 troops from Dunkirk, less than a tenth of the number trapped there. Goering does his best to fulfill his promise. The Luftwaffe destroyed Dunkirk itself. The beleaguered troops have nowhere to go but the beaches. They scrabble over the sands, wade into the sea, and pray for rescue. With the Allies now exposed on the open dunes, Goering orders his Luftwaffe to wipe out their defenseless enemy. Almost half a million Allied troops are trapped on the docks and beaches of Dunkirk. Many thousands plunge into the water, hauling themselves towards the rescue boats. The struggling men in stationary vessels are easy targets for the predatory Heinkel 111s and Stuka dive bombers as they lay waste to the area. Running protection for the bombers are Messerschmitt BF-109 fighter planes. Luftwaffe bombers strike Dunkirk again and again, their barrage bringing them to the brink of wiping out the retreating allies. The din was infernal. To the scream of falling bombs was added the angry hornet's noise of dive bombers, machine gun fire the snarl of falling planes. To try and shield the stranded troops, the RAF deploys its latest fighter plane, the Supermarine Spitfire. Some are fitted with cameras that activate when the guns fire. They capture the Spitfire at its deadliest, shooting down a Stuka dive bomber. The RAF sends 16 fighter squadrons to attack the Luftwaffe over Dunkirk. Able to bank and roll faster than the ME-109s, the Spitfire edges it in dogfights. In a single day, they claim over 38 kills. As the air battles rage, a hastily assembled evacuation fleet with over 50 destroyers starts its unlikely rescue mission. 